Hey everyone, this is Day Trader Rockstar, and this is a market radar video for Wednesday, July 16th. And we're going to jump right into this. S&P, I mean, I'm very happy the way the market's acting right now. We can actually see this beautiful flag break out to the upside, which was, you know, what we want to see. You want to see that, uh, that flag break out to the upside. It's been uh, just a go-to type of trade in this market over the last year at least the last year. You can actually see all these flags, even some of the mini flags I'd even really outline. But the one thing that all these flags have in common is we had an oversold stochastic oscillator setting up. And this was pretty established. Nice little flag on the 50, nice little flag on the 50, nice little flag oversold, nice little flag over fl uh, oversold, nice little flag oversold. So, you know, we're kind of micromanaging this uh, latest move out of this. It's been kind of rising this rising wedge pattern. Typically, a pattern that could easily break down and cause some momentum. It's usually a topping pattern for me, and there's some things that I pay attention to. One thing is the coiled up stochastic, how we kind of made a series of higher lows on, underneath that stochastic, giving it that coiled appearance. And this type of pattern, if you could identify a channel that goes with it, in this case you're seeing this wedge go with it, the breakdown here of the uh, coil uh, kind of co coincides with the breakdown of the pattern. And we did recently break down. And this is what, uh, but we're not really breaking down out of the wedge pattern yet. So we're seeing some mixed signals. But the signals are very clear on this on this flag. We did get the breakout. The one thing I want to mention, this is what I mentioned on this past week's uh, video, is expecting an early push early in the early in the week to break us out of this flag. Because we are inside of a wedge pattern, typically that wedge pattern breaks down between 65 and 75 percent into the pattern. Now. I'm not pulling out a ruler here or anything like this, but I'm gauging that we're pretty much in that zone right now. We're kind of in that in that zone. So at this point, I want to pay attention to the 60-minute uh, stochastics and see if we get kind of a failure here. And if this would be what you want to look for. You want to see that rotation back up and the 60 here, not taking out the recent highs and kind of rotating back down and retesting that trend line and eventually breaking down. We kind of got that going on right now. We kind of got that going on today. But we had a nice uh, initial push back up, and this comes in, you know, we had a nice push back down here, and this was uh, Janet Yellen actually um, testifying today. So she was in the news a lot, and there was a lot of commentary, a lot of news tweets going out. So we kind of market pulled back off of that, and when that ended, her, you know, the market actually started pushing back up, and we kind of uh, stabilized here. So we leave off now going into tomorrow with the 60-minute time frame, choppy at best, you know, maybe a bearish flag, maybe another move back down, or maybe a follow through to the move high up. Really hard to tell this, the daily. Again, not really uh, clear on the daily even. So it's kind of a, a cautionary area. The, what leads me to believe that we still have the potential for the breakdown is the, the, the wedge pattern. And that we didn't get a clear follow through. And, you know, we're not oversold yet. And there's a lot of other things here that kind of just saying, you know, you know, let's just be careful in this level. If we actually start to see this thing rotate back down, um, we have some shorts on board. We've been taking some shorts in this market, so that's been working out pretty good. Now, there's a lot of underlying stocks that we've been trading, and really doing well this week. The one stock, where's all those stocks? Well, we, where's my paper here? I just have all these papers. All right, sorry, got it. Got it going on. Um... And we've been really, you know, finding some great patterns. There's a great pattern that came out today, um, and we jumped on it. So I'm going to drop it to you guys. Drop it like it's hot. Darn restaurants here, really uh, setting up nice. Daily here is in a tight, tight channel. We've been oversold, but the one thing I'm keying in on is this one, two, three pattern. Um, three really good defined pivot areas. One, two, three. And you, when you get down to that last pivot area down here, you look for that reversal candle. We started identifying that reversal candle. We got in a good position today. And, you know, right now we're just going to have to let this trade play its, play its uh, way up here, back up to the 20 period moving average. Um, it look, looks fantastic. It does look good. 60 minute chart kind of coiled up, gave us a little time, and we got that pop. Sold off a little at the end of the day, uh, but still maintained most of that candle. And uh, well, we'll watch it tomorrow early. Um, it does look pretty good, so I'm very happy about that setup. The uh, the shorts are looking okay, and you know I also discussed the VIX today on the show. And what's interesting about the VIX, and just 
again, a different way of looking at the markets. We take a look at the recent VIX, and the VIX is, has this time decay to it. You know, the VIX will eventually just erode, and they'll, they'll, uh, they'll reverse split it, and they'll pop it back up here, and they'll continue on its thing. But every so often, you get these nice little spikes, you know, which, you know, if we actually overlay the, the S&P on this, those spikes in the VIX will, you know, really overlay against the market correction or a pullback in the market, in some cases a flag. So let's just do that. Let's compare the S&P uh, 500 to the uh, market here. We're going to time this a little bit better so you can see. Um, you can see it's not the, the best chart here, but you can see the pullback here. The pull, you know, that's your pullback. That's your, your move up in the VIX. Same thing here. The pullback. The move up in the VIX. Same thing here. The pullback. And again, this is not a bar. This is a, a line chart. So you're just going to have to deal with that. But you're seeing that really, this is a move from August to September, a pullback. A move from May to July, a pullback. A, May, a, a, May, a move from the mid September to mid October, pullback. And then each time we do get that, uh, you know, that spike, it, it does come with a pullback in the market. And that's how the VIX works. This is a volatility fear index. So, of course, selling is going to, you know, uh, bring that fear. And again, you can see a little pullback here. So now we're at a point where we're kind of measuring this out. And I want to get rid of this overlay. Just wanted to show you that for now. It's a pretty good example of that. Um, let's get rid of that overlay for a second. Oh, look at all the <laughs> all these lines I got here, and just like magic, they're gone. But now we start to look at, you know, the time frame between these corrections. Um, from June here, we had that re recent one. You know, we'll start back here in this, uh, you know, a year ago, June, and then we kind of it was about four months. We actually got a little spike in the VIX, and about another four months, we got another spike in the VIX, and then March, April, May, kind of May here, about three months, we got a spike in the VIX, and now it's been. Uh, again, June, July, August, going into the third month. Do we continue to push down here? It's a hard trade. It's a very hard trade to time. Um, you know, just uh, just something I'm paying attention. You do get these moves, and these moves are pretty impressive. I was looking at 54 up to 67. You know, move up from 41 to 54. This move was gigantic back here. Um, you know, 20 point move right there. On the VIX, so I mean, if we're if we are looking at that wedge pattern to break down, look at this wedge pattern to break higher, and you know, not a bad hedge, but definitely the, one of the harder trades to uh, to pull off right now because the, everyone's interested in getting to the VIX for a little protection. Not saying it's going to work. You don't want too many people getting uh, you know, getting excited on that. But something to watch, you know. So just to recap and make this thing a very short and sweet little market update, again, still very cautious on the breakdown. If we do break down here, we're going to look for a breakdown. A measured move out of this pattern would bring us down um, probably around that 50 period moving average. That's a good, good little uh, a target right there, which at this point, you know, is about 19.19. So it's a decent, it's, a, it's, it's not a bad move. It's, you know, something that the market probably would welcome. So I definitely see that as an opportunity and still a, a possibility going forward. Uh, I know FT here brought uh, some interesting uh, volume profile lines. He's paying attention to one right above us. So we're also paying attention to that at the 1975 area. And we've tried to get through that earlier today. We've kind of failed and we pulled back. We'll continue to watch that. But if not, I think we have a good shot of, you know, if not even a better shot of moving lower from this point on. I'm slightly, slightly... Um, you know, my bias is to the downside slightly because of the pattern, because the pattern didn't follow through to a breakout, and, you know, we'll see what happens. Tough area overall, and, um, you know, the stocks are coming in very clear, so we're sticking to the stocks, and, again, we have those restaurant stocks that are setting up, and I hear the lawnmower behind me, and I'm going to get off, um, and we'll talk to you tomorrow morning.